Hello everyone and welcome to the Litter 3 air pool for the Ravenwing pack where we are here with Cassia and Ton and their pups and uh, thankfully we are still here with Ton because this litter was a wild one. We had a very close call in which Cassia had a terrible nightmare in where Ton was actually killed by Junction Butte now thanks to our challenge system and the uh, the stories we've had in Lost Tales we were able to reverse that Ton did survive and it ended up being nothing more than a horrible nightmare but it was still a horrible nightmare that drove Cassie into panic and ultimately led to her picking up and moving the entire pack most of the way across the Slough Creek map and incredibly in spite of all of this all seven pups still survived but goodness gracious there were several times when it looked like they were not going to however we do have all the pups here and we're gonna go ahead and age them up to adults here and that you'll have the option to vote for which one of them you want to see become the litter heir and possibly carry on the legacy of the Ravenwing pack into season six when we get to that point now uh the saga is on its way I'm hoping we'll finish season five before we get to that point. We'll see. <laughs> but ideally, we start off generation six going into Saga, but it depends. We don't really know when it's coming, and I don't really know how long it's going to take me to finish. So uh, we'll, we'll we'll see. We're, we got to keep moving with this. <laughs> but we'll go ahead. We'll make these guys into adults, and uh, you'll be able to find the poll to vote for which one you want to see be the litter heir in the video description. But for now, let's go ahead and see what these guys look like all grown up. All right, and starting off here, we have Kite. Uh, she has a genetic black coat, as all of the pups here are going to. Cassia actually has a double black coat, which means that with Han's double gray coat, all the pups are going to have one black coat gene and one gray coat gene. So we're going to be seeing a lot of black coats today, <laughs> and we can guarantee that all of them, barring mysterious bugs and glitches like Whatever the heck has been going on with our live streaming pack, uh, barring all of that, they should all have one black coat gene and one gray coat gene. That's what would be most safe to assume. And I think that glitch got patched, so hopefully that holds. But anyway, Kite has the 859M coat from Lamar Canyon Pack. This is kind of one of the classic 2.7 coats. It's wild to think that the 2.7 coats are now classic ones, but they've been around for a little bit. Anyway, it's this really nice, pretty kind of blackish, reddish one. She had a very red coat as a pop too, so some of that tinting definitely did carry over into her uh, adult look as well. You can also see that she has these really pretty kind of not quite vibrant gold eyes but still very very cool. They stand out quite well against her fur. We'll also go ahead and we'll listen to her howls here. This is one of the new howls I do believe and then her secondary. That's a much more classic one, and if we look at her customizations here, we can see that she actually does have a torn left inner ear, quite quite significantly so. That's a pretty significant notch, you can see that there on her face. She is also pretty large in size too, she's quite a big wolf. That's actually a theme that we'll see a bit with this litter, I think. Uh, I don't know, I think these guys... I think they might have been generated after the size was added. I don't know if it's always going to be 100% correlated to their uh, strength as it was previously for wolves generated before a certain point, but I can't actually remember when we started this later, so we'll see. We'll have to take a look what some of the other sizes are. Uh, as for her strength, though, you can see she is still quite a strong wolf with plus two strength and plus one stamina, but minus one speed and minus two health. She's definitely a very, very lucky wolf with that minus health, too, because she did fall sick pretty much right away very early in the litter I think it was like episode two or something however she did end up recovering thank goodness even despite her lower health so that is kite she's the first of our seven pups and next up we have 
Larkspur, who is a lot more uh, a lot more bluish in contrast to to Kite's very warm tones. She does have a very pretty coat, though. It's a genetic black one, and this is actually the U Black 427F coat from Beauteous Blacks. It's one of the DLCs. Uh, she also has these very pretty, kind of almost silvery green eyes. Uh, once again, like complete opposite end of the spectrum, it feels like from Kite. So we've got quite a quite a bit of range between these wolves. Some of them draw more from Cassia. Some of them seem to draw more from Tan's reddish coat. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see how they all end up looking. But we'll also go ahead and we'll listen to her howls here. That's a bit of a more classic howl. And then her secondary... definitely one of the new ones. I think that's the one that I've said reminds me of a loon's call, too. It's very, very, very neat howl. Uh, now, she actually doesn't have any ear or body customizations, but you can see she's also got that larger size. However, if we look at her stats here, she's not quite as strong as Kite. She only has plus one strength and minus one speed with neutral stamina and health. Now, she was definitely quite the character. She was a troublemaker who, back when we had a den, refused to go into it, but she did seem to care quite deeply for Kite, especially while Kite was sick. She showed a lot of visible worry for her, so definitely, definitely seemed to show some concern there. It's probable that the two sisters were quite close. This is an observation made in part by the members of my YouTube supporter Discord, which is open to all members of the Patreon, YouTube channel members, and Twitch subscribers uh, who are over the age of 13 as per, per Discord's terms of service. So if you want the chance to weigh in on a pup's personalities or even some of their traits potentially, then uh, you can do that as well as participate in community events and just hang out with me and other members of the community in that server uh, if you are a channel supporter. So that is uh, something that's open to you. And I do have links to that in the video description, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, this is Larkspur. And next up we have... Topaz. And Topaz has the uh, the 9F Founders coat here. This isn't quite Cassia's, is it? No, it's not quite the same, but it does remind me a lot of it. No, Cassia has Spitfire, I'm pretty sure. Uh, definitely takes a lot after her mom, though. Once again, genetic black, as all the pups will be. And she also has these really pretty green eyes. I think those do come from Cassia's side of the family, but they've shown up quite prevalently in her pups, and it is very, very cool. They stand out quite a lot. Now, I'll also go ahead and listen to her howls here. I think that's one of, that's an older howl, I think. And I think I just messed up which howl is which, so uh, give me just a second. Yep, there we go. So our secondary howl should be 18 if I had misclicked it. And that is a newer howl, I am pretty sure. That's not one that I'm too familiar with. Now, Topaz also doesn't have any ear or body customizations, and she is still a little bit on the larger size, but I think she's a little bit smaller than uh, than some of her sisters. Like, she's a smaller, larger. She's still still above the, the average there, but uh, not quite as big as her, her siblings have been. Now, that may be in part because she doesn't have as much strength. I don't know what the correlation to strength is now, if there is any, or if it's entirely random, or if it's probably just because Cassia is a larger wolf because she does have that higher strength as well. But in any case, uh, Topaz has that plus one stamina and minus one health. We don't see a lot of strong health stats in this, it seems. I think that might be one of Cassia's weaker points, too. You probably saw it earlier in the video. But that is Topaz. She's the 10F member of the Ravenwing pack. Next up we have Osprey. And Osprey is quite the stunner. Just look at this coat. He stands out quite a bit. I think this is the same coat. This is this one is actually uh, the 831F coat from Cool Coats. I think this is the one that Mayhem had, I want to say. I'm pretty sure, not 100%, but pretty sure in any case, very, very stunning coat. Uh, again, Wolf Quest just has such great customization options. They're all so dang pretty. And he has these really striking yellowy eyes as well, kind of stepping away from the green a little bit. We'll also go ahead and we'll listen to his howls here.
That is definitely a new one, then for a secondary. And that one's older, I'm pretty sure. Now you can see already that he does have a radio collar, but I don't think he has any other customizations. As for his body though, he's a little bit on the larger side, but honestly pretty close to neutral, so just slightly large-ish. Uh, he does, however, have plus two strength, so I guess maybe it's not all that correlated anymore. Uh, but he does also have minus two stamina, and minus one health with neutral speed. That is Osprey, formerly the 8M member of the Ravenwing pack. And next up we have Blackbird. And Blackbird is, I think, our only NPC coat. You can see hers does not show up anywhere on here, but it is the Eyebrows coat, which is once again genetic black. Again, that's going to be a theme for every wolf in this litter. This is one of the older NPC coats, I'm pretty sure, uh, but it is quite a cute one. I think it's actually a variant of the original black coat, which is, ironically, this one is more, more black, whereas the other one was more brown and could actually appear as a gray coat, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but in any case, uh, Blackbird also has these really kind of browny, goldeny eyes. They're very pretty. They're a little bit, a little, little bit less saturated than some of the ones that we've seen. Though they're a little bit duller, but they still stand out quite well, especially with those very striking eyebrows. And let's go ahead. We'll also listen to her howls here. And that's an old familiar one, I'm pretty sure. And then for her secondary. I think that one is as well, and I'm also pretty sure that this howl was in Zoo Tycoon. Like, I swear that I heard this in Zoo Tycoon too. I used to play that game so much as a kid, and I swear I recognize it from then. Uh, however, we'll also go ahead and we'll look here. I don't think she has any ear or other body customizations, but if you look at her size, again, slightly large-ish, but not not too big, just a little bit to the side of uh, uh, of average there. And she does have that plus two strength with minus one speed, minus one health, and neutral stamina. Now, Blackbird is a pretty lucky wolf. She's formerly a Ravenwing 11F, and she very nearly did not, like, she she almost didn't survive the, the journey. She came dang close to succumbing to illness, but fortunately, she recovered right at the end. She was at, I think, less than 5% right before reaching the rendezvous site, I guess that long journey really did take its toll on her, but fortunately she is still with us. And I think Cassia is very, very grateful for that fact. But that is Blackbird. Next up we have... Eerie, who once again has those very striking green eyes along with a black coat. This is the Casanova 302 M coat from Hall of Fame. Once again, like an another coat that is just absolutely great. Uh, I love I love black and white designs and Eerie certainly has a cool one here. Uh, get a closer look at those vibrant green eyes too. I think that those are from Cassia and uh, they, they certainly have shown up quite a lot in her pups and it's kind of a neat trait to see that this pack is continuing. Let's go ahead and we will listen to his howls here. That's a newer one, I'm pretty sure, and then his secondary. Wow, that's quite a long, whiny one. It's also one that I don't recognize. Uh, so I think that's a newer one as well. Now, he doesn't have any ear or body customizations, but if we look at his size, he's pretty dang big. Like, he, he he's, I think, probably, the, I think he's the largest. It's probably between him and Kite, and because uh, Eerie is male, he's probably a little bit bigger. So, I, but I think he may have the largest size stat of any of the uh, pups here. And he just still does have plus one strength, but he also has that minus one health with neutral speed and stamina. So, it's not quite a, not quite as strong as Wolves' size used to be, but still, still definitely on the stronger side. And of course, he was formerly the Ravenwing 9M uh, member of the pack. But that is Eerie. Next up, and last but not least, we have 
boar. And I think that boar has the lightest coat out of any of them. I'm pretty sure he's got this silvery kind of coat, but it is a genetic black coat nonetheless. Uh, genetics are wild like that. He also seems to have inherited a little bit of Tan's kind of reddish coloration too. Uh, this is actually the 21M founder coat as well, uh, which is one of the original DLC coats. And his eyes are this, I guess there is still a little bit of green mixed in, but more yellowy green than a lot of his siblings. Uh, still very, very pretty though. They match his coat quite nicely. But we'll go ahead, we'll also listen to his howls here. I think that's one of the older howls, and this one absolutely is. Yeah, that is the old, the original OG classic howl way back from before even 2.7. Now, Boar does not have any ear or body customizations, but he is, once again, a little bit on the larger side. I think Cassia herself must be. I think that's where this is coming from. But we have seen quite a bit of deviance that's not quite correlated with the strength stat, so I guess these guys probably were generated after uh, the switch was made. And uh, as for his stats here, he's got this plus two strength and minus two health, so a bit of a stronger wolf. But uh, once again, I, I think, like Cassia herself, not as... As much health. And that is Boar. He's formerly the 10M member of the Ravenwing pack and the youngest pup in the litter. So with that, we are going to go ahead and leave this here. Once again, you can find links, or I think probably links, <laughs> because we have seven pups, so usually that means two polls. We will be able to find those in the video description to vote for which of these wolves you want to see become the litter heir and have a chance of carrying on the Ravenwing legacy into season five, which will be happening, or into season six. We're in season five. Uh, season six will be happening whenever all of our stories from this conclude, but I don't know exactly when that'll be. We still got a little ways to go, so we'll have to see. But for now, we're going to go ahead and leave this off here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.